Well, a debate is brewing on Facebook as students are graduating now and some Facebook users getting really tired of all their parents bragging about their children's graduation and the great universities that they're getting into. But yet others are excited to hear about the class of 2014. So is it bragging or is it sharing? And where do we draw the line in terms of talking about our achievements and those of our friends and family? Well, our career expert, Kim McNicholas, here to sort all of that out. Hi, Kim. Hi. It was brought to my attention this week because a friend of mine's son just got into Stanford. So exciting, wow. right? Yeah. I, would, I was so excited to actually see it. But one of her friends uh, posted on Facebook right underneath and said, hey, you know what? You're coming across as bragging. Mm. And I'm thinking, who would not be happy for my friend with her son getting into Stanford? Well, probably somebody whose child didn't get into Stanford right. or maybe somebody who's a little bit insecure themselves. See, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. That's the conclusion I came up with, that maybe it was someone who was insecure or someone who didn't feel good about who they are. They were simply unhappy with their lives. I mean, we all go into, you know, times where we're feeling really low. We're not able right. to achieve the things that we want to achieve. We're maybe missing something in our lives, whether it's a new job, a new boat, a new uh, career, a, a new relationship. I have a friend of mine who uh -huh. was just telling me that she is dating um, her friend's ex-boyfriend, and Ooh. she really, really right. Yeah. <laughs> she was really scared to tell her, and I said, mm -hmm. the only reason that friend would actually be upset is if she was really unhappy with her own life. I mean, if, if someone talks merrily about their relationship and you're really unhappy in your own, I mean, we think... Uh, here we go again, and then you roll your eyes. Yeah, right? I'm sorry. I'm starting to hear this again. I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't want to hear this. That's not my situation. You know, and sometimes it is. It is a bit insecure yes. of people, and and maybe you're thinking in the back of your mind that my friend kind of wants wants to rub my face in it. Yeah, you know, you do. But yeah. and, and there are some cases where maybe they do. And mm -hmm. that's where you would draw the line. It's all about the intent, yes. right? And if you intend to hurt someone's feelings or something like that, then that comes across as bragging. It really does. And, and so let's talk about the differences between between that. And, and we have a graphic that we have to, uh, to put that up on the screen right. to talk about. Uh, this is a gut check. It really is a gut check. You okay. know, bragging versus sharing. You want to ask yourself, am I doing this just to make someone like me? Am I doing this to impress someone? Am I, you know, doing this because I want to prove something? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we've all done it where we post it on Facebook. If we, if someone breaks up with us, we posted a picture of us with our hot cousin, right? You know, you want to make the other pe person jealous. Well, of course, that's bragging, right? Right, right, um, right. If you are doing it, if you're posting something or whether you're talking about something because you're fishing for compliments, you're fishing mm -hmm. for praise. And we all know when we're doing that because if we don't get them then we feel bad or we feel unworthy so it really is as, again as you said it really comes down to intent yes it, it really does yeah. and if you want to avoid bragging a, a couple of things that you you really want to do is check your intent make mm -hmm. sure you're not trying to you know impress someone or you're not trying to make someone like you you simply own who you are that's incredibly important in terms of uh, checking whether or not you're bragging or whether you are sharing and I understand we also have a, a clip from a website that talks about oh, intent yes. that we want to yes. show oh if you're trying to one-up someone then that's <laughs> a really good indication right, take a out. look and a screen hmm, interesting I had to brag uh, 25 inch screen on mine these speakers mean these things are like uh, surround sound for a computer. I hate to brag. 10.0 on the speakers. Glad the sound cards really kick ass, man. Sci fi 60,000 or something. 3600 double core processor. I hate to brag. I hate to brag. I hate to brag. <laughs> I hate to brag. <laughs> but I will. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's an over-exaggeration. Right. That's, that's from the website Funnier Day. I love their videos. But we can all relate because we've right. run into people like that. We, we really do. And they yeah. don't have to say, I hate to brag. But they're always trying to one-up you. And that's a really good indication. If you're just trying to one-up someone right. or make them feel bad, then that, you're bragging. I okay, mean, so let, let's go through a checklist here of how to avoid bragging to make sure that you're staying on the right side of the line. All right. Just first, of all, first off, as we were saying, check your intent. Check intent. 
Right. Um, make sure you're not trying to one-up someone or make them feel bad. Also, avoid criticizing other people. That's a, a key one. Mm. Uh, I believe there's a musical. I think I, I think it's My Fair Lady where there's a song um, that I always sing in my head when I'm talking to do a gut check. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, anything you can do, I can do oh, better. Yeah. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> so watch that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, keep that song in your mind as you're doing this. That's and a great idea. And also, you can wrap a lesson around it. So mm -hmm. we have the Emmys, right, coming up in a, in a couple of weeks for broadcasters. Yes. And so let's say um, I recently won an Emmy, and it took me nearly 15 years to do so. But you know what? If you can get a great mentor like Marty Gonzalez or, mm -hmm. or Jan Wall or our producer mm -hmm. Michelle Nutting, then, mm -hmm. you know, you probably will get it a lot sooner. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. All right. Well, Kim, thank you so much. And, thank you. and now we know a little bit more about staying on the right side of the bragging. Yes. All right. We'll be right back.